Areas and fields are defined by polylines in upside view. They are needed for placement of solar tables in terrain. There are two possibilities to create areas and fields in Helio 3D. You can add an existing polyline as area or field, or you can directly create them by entering points likewise you can do with polylines. You can find these functions in the Civil 3D context menu, the context menu of Placement tab in Helios palette, or the Add Area Definition button. First we need an area, so we say Area and type in the points without polar tracking and without object snap and we enter the points for our area. Foreign area must always be closed. We close the polyline with the shortcut C and apply with enter. In the upcoming dialog we enter a name for an area. Let's keep area and say OK. The new area appears in the structure list. A field has to be completely inside or at least exactly on the border of its area. Instead of defining the field like we just did for the area, we now show you another way. We create another polyline with an offset to our area using Civil 3D functionality. For that we press this button, enter an offset distance, Let's take 3 meters and we point on the inner side of our area. Now we select this polyline and press right click, add as field. We call this polyline field. Now we have one very huge field. For separating our huge field into two smaller ones we'll use another Helio 3D function. We say right click draw, split line. Now we enter the points of our split line for separating the field into two. In the split line parameters dialog we enter an offset. Let's keep it at 10 meters. We say divide offset along both sides. That means that the borders of the new fields will be 5 meters above and below our split line. Both our split line and the original field shall be deleted. We proceed with offset. We can name the first field created by the split line algorithm. The second one will get a copy of that name. Let's call it field 1. If you want to know which name belongs to which line, double click a field so AutoCAD zooms in. In this case, field 1 is our southern field. So we can now right click and rename it and say field south. Now we right click the other field and name it field north. Please note that with the option select in tree enabled, you can select a field in the drawing so it gets selected and marked in the structure list too. Our fields are now ready for placement.